2014, we reached a very particular milestone. Two million licenses in education organization everywhere in the world. Three million students who are discovering engineering every day using SOLIDWORKS in their organization. I believe you have all been committed to use the power of 3D to do great products. I know many of you are reinventing the way you innovate, you collaborate for your future. Today there are lower barriers to realize your ideas. Today there is a new breed of entrepreneurs that think that just with an idea and a lot of drive and passion and determination, they can make the next big thing. And you know what? They are right. But for this new breed of entrepreneurs, we need what we call a true innovation platform. We have this 3D dashboard, and inside the 3D dashboard, we have all the information necessary to make the design decisions. This is available on a browser, so you can be anywhere, anytime, any place in the world, on any device, and see what's going on at any given time. Everyone in this room, can now take industrial design, put your creativity with it, create aesthetically good looking parts and sell something that looks like an experience to your customers. When I started working on this project, I already have an idea about the shape. But when I designed it on the new software, the result was not only better, but also gave me other design direction that I didn't anticipate. You can actually control the SOLIDWORKS models using the bio armband. If you want to demonstrate your presentation in front of large audiences like this, you can easily grab that image, move it around using natural gestures. We sort of instilled this culture of iterative product development. We rapidly prototype, we release it and test it, and then we go back to the drawing board with lessons learned. Nothing of what we have seen would have been possible without the creativity, the imagination, the dedication of a very special team the SOLIDWORKS R&D team. Please, a big round of applause. You know, it wasn't so long ago that if you want to manufacture something, you had to basically be a tycoon with a factory. And now you basically need a personal computer with SOLIDWORKS on it and a 3D printer. If you have a product, if you have an idea, there's really all your excuses are invalid for, for not doing it. Mm -hmm.